So two OGs going at it now. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. I, I mean, feel like um, they're both in that same level where they both know the game completely well. In and out, yeah, for yep. sure. But as of recently, you don't see either of them really in top eight. You know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, let's see, let's see. I was looking for the guy, Tom Lee, but I don't see him right Tom now. Tom Lee, yeah. Where is that man? The, the man himself, Tom no, Lee. No, I mean, he came over here. He was trying to say something to me at the time, but uh, I was um, on the mic, so yeah, I, get, I, see. I didn't get a chance to say anything He's back. probably sitting down in the front. Most likely. Um, again, shout out to Team Ninja for throwing another another great season, another great battle royale. Um, they are so supportive of their game; it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, you look at it and compare it to the other 3D fighters. I love it. Yeah, we have the most, the, the highest numbers, and the other key is we're still getting support four or yeah. five years down the road, which is great. I mean, we we've watched. You know, Sonic Fox turn into turn from a 14 year old kid to an 18 year old kid. So, <laughs> you know, all, that's he's got awesome. that too. So my versus uh, Ayane. Let's get it. Yeah, I mean, so I expect to see. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I expect to see Matt Pot come out on top here. To be um, honest, I don't blame you because Gil Hustle hates fighting live. Yep, yeah, and and as the free step dodge owner, <laughs> you, you can't go out 0 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't do it. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure you got some wins. In the, yeah, I'm, in the I'm sure. Yeah, so I'm it's sure. not going 0-2. Yeah, not, not so like on stream. On I know stream. what you mean. <laughs> yeah, the 0-2 on stream. There you yeah. go. If you're repping free step dodge, you got to get one victory. At on least stream. one. So. But I don't want to count out my boy Gil either. He's he's been playing amazing. Yeah. And the interesting thing about Gil is, um, it's something that he's had a habit for doing over the years, and it's when he's stunned, he's not gonna hold, uh, or he doesn't like to hold, and then when he slow escapes out of it, finally he likes to go for one peek. Okay. That's that OG uh, knowledge you have on them. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, you got to take your notes on your players. You want to oh. make your fights as easy as possible. Gotcha. True. So, this guy. This guy. So that, that's how it goes. Hold on a second. Go take him. Yep. All right. So, uh, they're both hiding behind this pillar. Like, what's going on? I don't want to approach. Okay. Uh, time you out with this pillar. Uh, Gil Hustle doesn't have to approach. This is too funny. I would keep doing this actually. Just ah, oh. shit, kept doing it. That was too funny. There we go. Oh, missing the throw. Bro, you just missed the funniest moment. They were both hiding behind the pillar for like a good <laughs> playing, twenty seconds. Playing pillar tag. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So they both get one on the board. Yep, for sure. Uh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a throw punish. Get, get those uh, four T's out of here. Uh, okay. Ooh, into the pillar. Doesn't get anything off it. Gets some mix up to a throw. So here's the thing about Gil Hustle's Ayane. It just I keep saying it because I keep seeing it. He's not a normal Ayane. <laughs> Where there's guaranteed damage, this man is actually going for but mix up. Yeah. It's insane, but it's working at the same time. He knows how it works. Yeah. yeah. But he should take the guaranteed stuff. Like this is guaranteed. That, that. There you go. He knew that was gonna kill, so he, he was like, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not mixing you up anymore. I feel like uh, Matt Potten is just relying too heavily on pokes. Like he's really not trying to do anything unsafe. Oh, there we go. That not, nice throw. Which you know what's you know what's interesting about Matt Potten? A lot of people don't know. Um, at some point, he did play Hayate. Uh, okay. So, so he wasn't always just a bass player. Yeah, I didn't know uh, that. So he's familiar with the the striking type characters. You know? Okay. Mm, guaranteed. Mm, I like it. Oh, okay. He's poking. Like I said, yeah. Matt Potten loves oh, to poke. Matt got caught slipping there. <laughs> and now we have this. Uh, okay. Great hold nice, by nice Gil. Hold. And this should, oh this should kill. God. Yeah. Oh, no. One little it's slither it's of health. Liver left. Oh my goodness. Just about anything is going but to end his life. That plan on the brink of death coming back. 
Oh, he, oh, does he gets it. him. Let's go. And he gets him. Wow. FSD. That, that's a kill. FSD. That's a kill. So, so the thing is, and we look at Gil Hustle. You know, we talk about how he likes to mix up a lot, right? But on that on that throw, he goes for the guaranteed damage on that throw. Yeah. I just think it's weird. It's interesting to me he does that. <laughs> It's like, you know what, I'm going to mix up on the strikes and stuff, but on the throw, guaranteed damage every time. Getting coached by uh, d lore right now. For sure. And I think Matt needed that. I mean, he definitely needed to take the first game because I can see this going three. And I think uh, I think now Matt has a good chance of, of you know, holding steady and, and taking two out of three. Yeah, he's getting coached by Rakuto, so, I mean, FSD sure, family. Sure. I think he has an opportunity to do great things. Like I said, don't he don't be too scared to take that risk and in that moment it paid off. Cause as from what I see with Matt Plotten, he's a really uh careful my I'm used to seeing D Loy who's just all over the place yeah, with her. I mean B Boy, he's another one of those um, fringe players. He slips into top eight. Um, and he usually he can By luck. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I won't say I won't say luck. I like to res I respect all the players, but yeah, I, yeah. I will say that, you know, He's one of those guys who who will who will say screw it. I'm gonna do something unsafe. You stop me. Yeah. And you then, deal with it. And then, and then when, you, when you get to that very very high level, people are generally gonna stop that unsafe stuff. Yeah. Yep. And here we go. Game two. Wow. Uh, this is a good stage two. Crimson. I love this. Yeah. I mean, both of these players are are well versed in movement. Oh yeah. So. Great block. <laughs> I like what Nat Potten does. He actually like. Looks at with the controller people press. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, so, so <laughs> <laughs> little known secret about Matt Pond. I, I will not comment on that one, though. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Gil Hustle's looking really good right now. And he's going to get this advanced throw. This should definitely kill. Yep. And that is going to go. For sure, for sure. So, and that's what I'm saying. This, this matchup between these two players is, is pretty even. It, at this point, it's going to be about execution and who can set up the correct mind games first. Oh, yeah. I don't question anyone's execution. They both got their execution down. Yep. But, uh, like, like I said, uh, Nat Pine actually going pushing in. buttons. Going in. Oh, goes for the throw, but Gil Hustle once again. Slow escape, then 1P. 1P. You're right, you're right. He does like to do that. Doesn't go for a throw oh, punish instead. Attack. I like that. Oh, that's it. And so here's the thing: Gil Hustle played with his food there, <laughs> went for the reset. I mean, Matt could have reacted and held though. So that's a throw punish. It's a tough situation for sure. Huh? All right, so uh, Gil just going on a tear, keeping Matt Pine in that corner. All right. Yeah, this might have to be my uh, last, last one. match because they got me on the Street Fighter pool. I'm going over after this. Oh, you actually play uh, Street Fighter. Didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, I'm going to go over after this match. So you going to take my spot? Or is, is Mike going to take Okay. okay. Alright. So, uh, Gil Hustle definitely uh, putting in work here. Just staying safe. Matt Potten has to figure out how to open them up. Absolutely. It's just not working out right now. Yeah. In the corner, that's big damage. Mm, it Ooh, doesn't, doesn't even tech. tech. Says, you know what? All right. <laughs> so Matt here, and here's the thing. Matt's got extra pressure on him right now. Um, so his girlfriend from Japan traveled out here. Oh yeah, that's true. Or maybe I'm putting extra pressure. On him. <laughs> maybe I am. Um, his Don't tell him that. Came out here from Japan. She's in the crowd. She's actually uh, an incredible for cosplayer. Him. She's she's dressed up as a Yane today. She looks great today. Um, I'm wondering. Costume. And, and so you know he's got that going from he's, he's got to he's got to perform i'm wondering right. if we're gonna see a c no he's going straight line i want to see if he's gonna switch to bass I told, you, I told you he's not he's not rocking uh bass right now okay going on and, and you know what it's not a bad decision at no. this point he, it's, it's just he gotta got play caught, differently he got, he got caught slipping a little bit and, a, and once again it was <laughs> the situation where gil hustle set up his mind games and mm -hmm. was able to execute on it. Oh, he's just not confident in pushing buttons on Gil. Oh, um, but Gil right is now. definitely confident in pressing his buttons. Yeah. So, so Matt went for a throw there after that. I think he expected that attack to stun mm -hmm. so he could set up a throw, but it didn't work out for him. So Matt. Oh, does actually punish it. Yep. 
nice punishment there. Oh, caught slipping uh, during that power blow too close. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure slipping. Okay. Good side step by Gil. Gil got him in the for corner. Sure. Oh. Nice. No, it's safer than you think. <laughs> so, so Matt's got a lot of work to do right now. Yeah, like he's just he's actually putting the buttons down. There's a down. one P. Oh, man. <laughs> there it is. Is that trigger you every time you see it or something? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's oh. one of the things. Nice, nice, The nice, whiff nice. punish on deck. That that move is so good. Her her power blow, it's safe on block. It's its range is beautiful, and it evades, like, everything. I think if, if Matt is able to get one critical burst, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to take this whole match because that will mean Matt has, has broken the mind game. Okay. Because you notice he's been playing a lot of stun, looking for that throw. If yeah. He goes all out and goes for that one critical burst. Yep. He'll take it. Yep, you're right. No more throwing. Nice throw. Oh, but we gotta take that throw punish. Yeah, you got to. No <laughs> about that. Both players are almost even right now. Stun. Ah, as he's talking about, yeah, yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to throw it out there. <gasps> nice run up throw. That was good. Ooh. Great. So Matt aiming for the ankles there. Ooh, there it is. Gil actually tried to hold there. Yeah, he did. Duck. Oh, side step, nice, side. Nice. Nice, side step. Not gonna throw it this time. Gil he knows. Maximum, he knew. Maximum punishment for that. Yep. Mm, plus one. Matt says no. I don't respect it. <gasps> Great nice hold. hold. Get those lows out of here. <laughs> so Gil's looking for that 6 6 so. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There it is. Caught him slipping. Oh, nice flip. <laughs> Gets himself some space. Ooh. Interrupt. Stun. As you talk about it? He's no. Attack. And Matt takes it. Matt Good takes stuff. It. Good stuff. So so again, Matt got that critical burst. He did it. And, and he was able to take the match. So